You probably think you know how to doodle, and you're probably right. But it's important to remember that there's a difference between doodling and drawing. There's a secret ingredient that sets doodles apart. And this secret ingredient is missing from a lot of what people call doodles these days. So what exactly is doodling and how do you do it? To get started, grab a pen, pencil, marker, or any other drawing tool you're really comfortable with. You also want some paper. Historically, doodles are most at home in the margins of your school notebook, a scratch pad by your phone, or maybe some little notepads that happen to be laying around your desk. The last thing is the most important, but it can take a lot of different forms. Maybe a movie you're watching, or a really long phone call with the cable company. Or, as I love this one, an audiobook or a podcast. This is the secret ingredient I was talking about. What all these have in common is that they're a distraction. They're something for you to give your attention to. And that level of distraction is what makes a doodle a doodle rather than just a drawing. It's not really doodling unless you're paying full attention to something else. The element of distraction is what makes doodling such a powerful and worthwhile activity. Studies have shown that doodling actually increases your ability to remember what you're listening to, whether that's a lecture, audiobook, whatever. And it does this by giving your brain just a little bit of wiggle room so it doesn't feel too confined. But it also keeps your brain grounded, keeping you from wandering into full-on daydreaming, which actually, it turns out, consumes a lot of mental energy. So keep a pen and paper handy and pull it out whenever it's time to sit still and listen for a while. Don't think too much about what you're gonna draw. That would defeat the entire purpose. Doodle regularly. This is gonna help you remember whatever it is you're supposed to remember, and it's also gonna develop your drawing skills at the same time. Over time, you'll build up an awesome library of little drawings that came from a part of you you probably wouldn't have been able to access if you were just sitting down and really drawing intentionally. Whatever you do, don't throw them away. So snap a few photos of your doodles and share them online with the hashtag creative live design. We really want to follow along and see what you come up with.